Hey everyone, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. And this is an additional room that I have in right now. It has actually become congested like the previous one. But anyway, I just have received this package from Amazon Saudi, Amazon SA. Amazon SA is supposed to be a smile from Amazon. You got to be smile. You smile, you don't have, you smile both face like this. You smile from one side like this. Oh, those are the Amazon people. But he is not smiling, it's just side smiling. Anyway, this thing is supposed to be a meter to, to, to measure the uh, inductance, capacitors, and resistors. It's called LCR from Peak Electronics Technology. All right. Now, I already have those two devices from a long time ago to measure all these things. Unfortunately, when it comes to capacitors, less than 30 picofarads, those two devices are not able to uh, measure. So you are lost. Okay, sometimes you need those small capacitors and you need their capacitance in precise. Well, those two devices actually fail to uh, uh, do the job. There is another one in my other room in the lab, but also it cannot uh, measure the required capacitors all right this is a very brief and small story about why and how i purchased this thing which is supposed to be a quality thing but there is also a possibility that i am now i am going to open a fake chinese product yes that is possible because i will tell you why first of all this product actually is from a peak electronics company and this company is found only in UK all right and unfortunately they do not sell on the did not they did not ship their products outside UK so if you buy from eBay or from Amazon or from whatever you are pro probably will get a fake Chinese product like what I did I actually bought from Amazon let's see so there is high probability now that I am going to open with you this product and we will be confronted with the reality a fake chinese product that's not worth in it right so we will discover whether it is fake or genuine so there is a way to do that i already have a picture for the original one pcb from inside okay i'm going to put it in my front of my face and i'm going to open uh this device whether if we've got the true uh genuine uh, device or fake Chinese products as usual. So let's go ahead together dears and discover what is in this packet Okay, guys, it is what it is we either win or lose. Okay, there is nothing can be done right <laughs>
this is absolutely genuine peak technology company product. There is no way to be fake. Okay, it's time to see all of that. Oh, oh, very good. So you can deattach them. All right, very good. Maybe you will connect with something else. Right, so let's take, let's start with capacitors first. So we have, I added a uh, electrolytic and here I have added another uh, power inductor here. Okay, we will test it. Okay, so first off, Let's just start with the two Biko farads, right? And just here, put here, this is the on. Hopefully you can see it, right? So here we are, here we go. One point eight Biko farads, that is good. And it's using 200 kilohertz because it is automatic you can uh, use uh, uh, a manual then you set it by yourself that's very nice absolutely very nice and it's identified that this is a capacitor right. all right let's go ahead for the second one the four microfarads all right Four point one four picofarads exactly. That this device is amazing, with two hundred uh, kilohertz, right? So we don't have time to go for other uh, 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 capacitors. So we go jump immediately to this is should be this is five capacitors, five picofarads. All right, I am impressed. Five point three picofarads. That's something very nice, absolutely. And 200 kilohertz as measurements. That's good. So when we go to the uh, uh, point one microfarads, which is 104 could, it should be 100 microfarads. Okay, I'm sorry, nanofarad. All right, this is 104 coded. It is 78, 79 nanofarads, 80, 81, leave it until it is finished, it's using 1 kilohertz for testing as a frequency. So it's keeping rising. So 83, if it is going up, it's nice. But even this reading is very good. So let's go now to the uh, electrolytic. We have uh, 10 microfarads electrolytic. But make sure you uh, discharge your devices first because it is dangerous that you might get some electricity from the uh, charge of the capacitor, so especially the uh, electrolytics. Electrolytics should be discharged first, so that you can, I'm sure maybe it has some uh, reverse voltage uh, protective uh, circuit, or maybe not, but do it so that you be safe more. So this is 10 microfarads, 7.9, microfarads which is fair okay and it's using now a dc uh, and the dc if you push the menu okay you see it's not finished yet okay push enter impedance is zero right admittance is not applicable because this is dc uh, uh, magnitude in phase it is not applicable also okay but if you use if you are measuring the ceramic capacitors, this is 10 picofarads. 
it is going to use frequency to measure the capacitance all right 200 uh, kilohertz frequency now enter push the enter you will see the impedance is 200 uh, on 200 kilohertz the impedance is point 2.2 kilohertz and this is the uh, 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 the 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 uh, w what is called as uh, imaginary part, all right, seventy five point eight, seventy four point seven, something like that kilo ohms. All right, that's good. So another push, admittance, it gives you also the imaginary part, the imaginary imaginary portion, and the real uh, impedance admittance. Okay, another push to give you magnitude and phase is seventy four. 0.6 uh, uh, kilo ohms. That's good. Very good. You don't need all this extra information, but that's nice. Now let's move to the uh, uh, resistors. We have 150 kilo ohm resistor here. Right? I'm trying to make it as fast as possible. I'm really happy from this device. A hundred fifty two. 152.2 kilo ohm that's nice it's a dc so we are not supposed to get the uh, impedance and admittance and magnitude in phase it's going to be non-applicable see that's nice all right so now to make it uh, uh, actually fast we have this power inductance and it is 2.2 microhenry, as you can see. 2.2 microhenry. Let's go ahead and test it here because I already uh, installed some leaks to it. Okay, although we can, if it doesn't have any leaks, we can just deattach these probes. But it is 2.2 microhenry. Here's the real test. Very good. 2.3 or 2.4 microhenries. I'm, I'm embarrassed. I'm really impressed. That's nice. This device is real asset. And you can use it and it's very important um, to be with the technicians. That is very nice. Very happy with that. Impedance, the imaginary portion and the real portion the real admittance and the imaginary ad admittance that's good magnitude and phase absolutely nice i'm very happy from this device so if we test this inductance to see i remember i made this inductance long time ago right it's point 36 microhenry and it has impedance and imaginary portion of that impedance real and imaginary admittance real and imaginary magnitude and phase 40.47 uh, uh, ohms that's good absolutely good all right finally let's test this uh medium wave RF coil from beginning to end okay the full because there are two coils but they are actually connected to each other so let's say we test it from beginning to end the full coil we see about the inductance okay so you see now it's giving you the inductance and the resistance 14.2 ohms that's nice inductance is 408.2 micro henry that's absolutely nice and it's using 15 kilohertz the impedance real impedance in ohms and the uh, imaginary portion right admittance the real and imaginary and magnitude of phase or phase 40 uh, 0.76, uh, 77 uh, ohms. Right, fantastic. 
I'm really happy from this device, guys. And we are actually, uh, uh, we have succeeded in, 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 in buying this uh, device. Uh, just push it like for two or three seconds and you turn it off. Good. That is absolutely nice.